um, fit to screen, fit to screen, just because I know that if I was to give this to another animator and they were going to look through it and learn about it, um, I don't like to have things all the way zoomed in and then be like, whoa, what is this? What's going on? I have to zoom out and look around. And that way, if everything's zoomed out, uh, everything is ready at a glance for um, other, if, if you're working with other animators or potentially have other people looking at your uh, project files. So some clients want to, want to have the project file. I don't typically give project files to clients, but there you go. Sometimes they want it. So you got to give them what they want. Control W, Control W, close those out, and then um, now we're going to just move this around with our ladies, put it at her feet, and then um, unlock the 50, put it at his head, and we can, we can move these down a little bit actually. I like the shift down thing by 10. Um, <clears throat> so we can lock those, lock those since we're done with all that. Now the banner, let's do the banner. And then same thing with this, we want to, um, actually I, this was all um, from my prep work, uh, apologies. But um, we're going to, we're going to build it from the ground. So. Let's go ahead and, um, since the banner is the biggest part of that, we're going to have all of that parented to the banner and we're going to center it. And then we're going to, we can use the crop tool. Um, yeah, let's just use the crop tool. And then I can change the dimensions like that if I so desire. Composition, crop, comp to region of interest. Hundred one twenty. Wonderful. Okay, cool. So I want to have this bounce up just like how we had it in um, the markers. Let's go ahead and turn on the rasterization of all of these uh, as well, because some of these go outside the. Um, well, this one will anyway. Go outside the parameter, the dimension of the of the comp. Banner. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and unparent all these, um, and let's focus on um, the marker and the icon. So we're going to turn those off, make these two a different color, just so we can see at a glance what we're doing. And since this is very similar to um, the other one, uh, the 50 marker, we can just copy paste the, the keyframes from the composition and paste it onto here. Now I already had set the anchor point because um, I did this earlier, but it, it will be in the center. So just like I said, grab your pan behind tool, drag it to the and snap it to the, the corner of the uh, the element. Uh, let's parent the uh, icon to the marker, and yeah, I, I like that. that. That looks nice. And we're going to need continuous rasterization because it does go outside, and it will be cropped. But you can see here, it's not. Um, control W. And let's let's uh, turn the banner back on, and uh, we want to have that slide in. So, in order to do that, we the best thing to do, I think, um, you could add a linear wipe and move it. But I like masks. I do I do a lot of things with just masks. But if you wanted to play around the linear wipe, it's a transition. You can just type in wipe, and you'll get a lot of a lot of stuff. Um, all this uh, stuff here is just for text. All that stuff. Um, is that for text? No. That stuff. All that stuff. So linear wipe you could use. 
and that it's just a wipe. Um, but I want to do that. I want to do mask. Masks are cool. A lot of a lot of control. A lot of a lot of cool stuff. So we want to have that roll in. Um, but we want it to roll in after this, so it stops moving and it looks like it stops moving about about 20, 20 frames in. Now you can see where exactly it stops moving if you were to go to the transform and you go to the rotation graph uh, graph editor. It should anyway. Hmm. That's strange. Oh well. It looks like uh, 20 frames is good. Well, let's see. Let's see 25 frames. And we want this to. We want. And if you hold down Shift, it'll be restricted to uh, the X dimension. Uh, and if you hold, see, uh, and then if you hold down Shift, it'll it'll be locked to one dimension. So up and down, left left to right. Um, so that's a good way to to maintain controls uh, in terms of how you want to be animating. So let's have it come out from this marker. Um, so we should be able to um, frame 25, alt, um, open bracket, alt, open bracket. So let's go ahead and uh, keyframe the mask and we're going to keyframe the position. We're going to hit U to, to see them both. Let's do um, shift page down three times so it'll be a, a second. Just keyframe those two. Um, now we should be able to use the pan behind tool and move the the illustrator shape back. So let's go ahead and do that. But we have all this here. So let's go ahead and um, re-keyframe the mask, but we want it to be at the middle. So that way, we'll go ahead and zoom in here just so we can get more precise. Um, it doesn't have to be pixel perfect, but I, I like things to be pixel perfect. As much as possible, anyway, just to keep it clean. Um, Keyframe. And so now, pan behind tool. So this is really cool. The mask will stay still, but the shape will go, will go back. So hold down Shift and go back just until you can't see it anymore. So that way this will pop up, kind of wiggle a bit, and then that will roll out. So, so that's kind of, again, you know, kind of just stops. We want it to be a little bit more interesting. So we're going to select these keyframes, Shift-9. Um, we can see how that looks. So it kind of slows down a little bit, but we want it to slow down a lot. So I like to Alt, double click, and it'll bring up your keyframe uh, velocity. And we want to change our incoming velocity to 100. I like to boost that up. You can play with the speed, you know, of pixels per second. Um, I usually don't worry about that, but you know, play around with it and um, see what it does, see how it goes. Um, and since this is a one attribute, it's not going to do it to both because they're different. They're different attributes. So you have to Alt, double click the mask. Um, and boost that up too. Now these have to be matching because if they're not, it's going to look weird. It's going to look like, and if we just undo that, I'll show you. We're going to have this, this, this kind of weird thing going on here. Now if that's what you want, you know, by all means, do that. But uh, it looks kind of weird. So Alt, double click, 100. So now we'll give the illusion that it's coming from the banner. Um, if you want to have it selected and not see the mask, we can just hit this uh, toggle mask. But you're still going to see the um, the uh, keyframe, the position information. So, and if you don't want to see that, there is a way to turn it off in the view, uh, show layer controls. But you want that on. You're gonna you're gonna want to keep that on. Just. So I like that. That looks nice. Now, let's go ahead and turn our text on. Hit 
that kind of just pops on. We don't want it to just show up out of nowhere like an uninvited party de party guest. It's not as funny if you can't say it, but whatever. So if this was a Photoshop document, we should be able to um, right-click, um, and there, there should be a convert to editable text. But since this is an Illustrator file, for whatever reason, After Effects is like, I don't know what this is. I'm just going to read it as an image. But if, it, like I said, if this was a Photoshop document text layer, we could, uh, we could convert it to an editable text layer. Um, but we can't. Um, so for right now, um, we're just gonna we're just gonna recreate it. So if we go to our original, uh, what we what we took all the stuff from, we should be able to just copy this, copy the text, um, and it should keep the the kerning and the t and the font and and all that stuff. Um, so if I was to change this to I don't know something else, all this stuff, just screw all that up, um, and then. It should be, yep, there we go. It'll keep all the, the, the information. Not, not the colors. It wouldn't keep the color, but since I already uh, have done this before, it, I, I changed the color. So let's go ahead and center that, center that, and just shift that over. Try and match it up as best you can. Um, and if you want to change the color but not have to, you know, do that. I just use a fill just temporarily just so we can kind of see how it's matching up with everything. And um, I just want to be as close as possible. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, put that over there. We'll go ahead and. No. I was going to parent it to the banner, but let's not do that. Um, and if you do Control Shift E, it will remove all the effects on the layer. Again, we don't want it to pop on. So let's add something something cool. So if we go to our, our uh, effects presets window here, we go to animation presets, presets, text, and we go to animate in, there's all this stuff in here for um, animating text on. Most of it's kind of lame, pretty lame. I mean, play, play, play around with it, see what you like. I like the typewriter and the slow fade on, you know, simple, but you know, effective. Um, and if we were to drag this on here, or we could double click, um, it'll add it'll add the uh, animator to our text. So if we hit U, you can see the keyframes. Now it's important when you put it on; it's dependent on where um, your playhead is. So if we were to be over here and we were to drag it on our population text, hit U. Um, see that's. I mean, that's not a big deal. And we want that to match the duration of this. But again, see, we don't want it to, we want all the tech, the type to be on the uh, banner here. So we can do five frame, uh, five frames. So we hit, um, open bracket. And we should be able to, there we go. And you know, timing and and things like that. That's that's all going to be something you develop as a motion graphics animator. Um, you just have an eye for to time it and things like that. So it's just going to take practice. So speaking of timing, now that we have all that in here, we can go ahead and time out all of our stuff. So let's go ahead and um, put that at the top. make that background a little bit lighter. It's a little bit dark. So let's go ahead and switch it to, we'll uh, select it, hold down Alt, drag it over it. Uh, just play around with it, see what, see what looks good. Might just end up going back to what we had. All right. All right, there you go. You win. Um, so we don't want it to all animate at the same time. We can put the banner up top so they'll fall behind. But we're probably going to animate that later.